Cleveland has two police helicopters, but the News 5 investigators have found they rarely fly to fight crime. Last time Tara Morgan checked in on this was back in April. She found shoppers were grounded over a fuel bill dispute. Now she tells us council is staring down millions just to maintain the aircraft. The Cleveland Police Aviation Unit is decades old. Council Safety Chair Mike Polensic says it's not what it used to be and wants choppers back flying over neighborhoods. They tell us that they're going to be refurbished and are going to be brought up to the present day standards. Council just gave the city the go ahead to spend three and a half million to refurbish two choppers, nearly 200,000 more than original legislation from March 2022. If we just see them flying around downtown for special events, There'll be a problem, I can tell you that right now. News 5 investigators asked the city about the choppers in April. They flew for the Guardian's home opener, but not to help officers track suspects. Back then, police impersonators were terrorizing drivers. It was good seeing you again. Good seeing you. Yeah. Andrew Alexander was one of them. Impersonators stuck guns in his face and stole his gun, phones, and his car. Stuff like that shouldn't happen. Polensic has been pressing the city about needing the choppers for police chases. Officers wanted them too. This was April 2nd during a chase. Were you any luck with chopper? No chopper. They were not. We were told yesterday that one was flying. But we all ask our questions, when and where, because we never see it. These are police flight records from June 3rd to mid-September. Not all operations were noted. There was only one Kia detail in July, but nearly a dozen special events, including a street naming in August and photo passes at the air show last month. Th those aren't, that's not crime prevention. For one detail for, for the Kia boys, stealing all these cars, the rest of they're flying for special events for downtown. That's not what the aviation unit was put together for. Governor DeWine brought in OSHP's chopper to help Cleveland with violent crime. The, the arrests they made um, speaks for themselves. And, and we have been at a great disadvantage. Alexander got his car back about a month later. It actually wasn't damaged. It was just out of gas, you know? And, uh, I was all right, you know. Now also wondering how the city it's uses scary. its resources to fight crime. I mean, you know, if they're uh, spending the resource money to take uh, beautiful shots of the city, then, you know, they can use that same money to uh, actually catch common criminals out here. That was Tara Morgan with that report, and Tara further tells us Cleveland's police chopper program has been around since 1989. The original mission was to help stop drugs and violence, and that is the same mission today.